Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 17th. So, this is just a daily preview. We're just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. We are, you know, this is a message from my guides for somebody. It will not resonate with every single person. So, here we go. What do we have for July 17th, 2019? This is Jennifer from Soul Soros Tarot, and you should be watching this video on my channel. We're going to get one of these and just see what comes up. What do we have for the 17th? This reading is not sign specific. It's for somebody. We don't know who. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. We're going to go ahead and read that right now before we get started. Just because. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow you to hear the chorus of the angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully deeply and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you basically be grateful for your experiences good bad indifferent look at them in a positive light see them you know as a lesson see them as a way of expansion there is positive in every setback there really is. Nine of Cups. The Tower. Reversed. But still. Hmm. Something could have happened. Okay. This may have. There could have been. You. You know. This is a disaster. Okay, it's a disaster. It feels like it's a disaster. Somebody may have been trying to avoid. They've been trying to avoid change. They've been trying to avoid this realignment. We have somebody here that is very... <laughs> this guy looks like he's very arrogant. Okay, he does. He looks like he's very arrogant. He he almost looks like he's a show-off, you know? If you look at this guy, he almost looks like he's a show-off. He's like, I, I have it all. He's got a big ego. He's very proud of what he has. But does that bring true happiness? Does it? Does this looking good? Is he really? There's nobody with him. He's alone. He's lonely. Yeah, he has it all. <laughs> but where is his, where's his partner? Where's his wife? Where's his friends? Where's, where's everybody? He looks real good, huh? He's got a smile on his face. He seems pretty happy. His belly is full. But he looks pretty, I mean, it looks pretty empty to me. It really does. It's pretty gray. His life is. I mean, it is pretty gray. It does look pretty gray. Huh. Oh, 
options. Ooh, heartache, pain, stormy weather. Ooh, now we have, this is, these are both cards of wish fulfillment. But this is a false, fa a false foundation. This is choices, options, choose wisely. There's consequences. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. It may not fulfill your heart, may leave you lonely, may hurt you. What you think is good for you or what looks good for you may actually hurt you. If it's, if it's you know, built on false pretenses, You know what I was going to say at the very beginning? Waking up. This is you. This is like waking up. Hearing that something has happened. And I couldn't say the right words. I wasn't sure how to say it. Now this is. Peace. Peace. Finding peace, hoping for the best, a time of inspiration, a time of renewal. Painful, painful choice, painful decision. Yeah. This is a necessary evil. Something is being removed. Whether you like it or not. All the money in the world and all the things in the world can't change it. They can't change it. Anyhow. Knight of Cups reverse. There's no love here. There's no, there is no love here. There's no emotional fulfillment even though, you know, it looks good. This guy is not happy. This person really isn't happy. This person, you know... Wears it well, looks good, presents himself very good, walks around with a smile on his face. It's kind of like Robin Williams, okay? It's false. It's not emotionally fulfilling. There's no love there. So, yeah. Being flexible. This is adapt adapting. You know, able to juggle, able to handle it. But somebody was able to deal with the false sense of security, the falseness of whatever this was, and handle it very well. But I think they've come to the point where it's almost like they're about to fall down. It's almost like, yeah, they're about to fall down. It's like something is about to fall. Ten of coins reversed. This is the end of a relationship. This is turning away from a family. This is a family feud. This is ending a family dynamic. This could be the end of a family legacy. This could be end of, you know, a change in the home. Okay, a change in your family, a change in the family dynamic. Okay, this is a change as well, and this is so there's a change, and it's almost like you're waking up to a change. It's like lightning has struck, and there's thunder and lightning here, so it's like there's the the lightning has struck, there's some sort of option, and it's like somebody chooses to go in a different direction they choose they see a different choice you know what I mean they see that there is a better choice and they decide to take this option because where they've been it's not emotionally fulfilling it hurts it's painful their heart is not 
healing. The heart is suffering. There's a lot of internal pain. There's tears. There's, you know, and this person is, has probably been wishing and hoping to release this pain. So I think that we have somebody here that is going to be presented with a choice to break free from a false sense of security that on the surface looked really good, but it still didn't lead to the Ten of Cups. It still didn't lead to happiness. Nine of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups. So, you know, somebody may have thought wish fulfillment was in having it all. But it's like now they see that their wish fulfillment is not where they've been. That was false. They probably realized that was an illusion. And they've been hurting and they just want to heal. Ooh, High Priestess reversed. Now the truth, the secret is about to be revealed. The truth is about to be revealed. Somebody has been going through a repression. They've been through a loss of self. Kind of like Robin Williams. But the truth about how they truly feel is about to or the truth about the whole situation, about the whole family, or about the whole dynamic is about to be revealed, okay? Somebody's about to take that next step and initiate change because this is too false, it's unstable, it's insecure, it's almost like they're gonna fall down. It's almost like they're, they fall down. <laughs> Queen of Swords reversed. Now we know who this woman is. She's been coming up a lot. She's that greedy individual. Selfish. Hard to love. She makes herself hard to love. Because she wants it her way. In her way only. She will not see things from a new perspective. She will not change her mind. And she is brash. And she's cold. So it feels as though we have somebody here that is making a decision or has made a decision to let go of the false sense of security that wasn't emotionally fulfilling and choose a better option because there's no stability here. There's no abundance here. There's no love here. It hurts. This has caused a loss of self. It's caused a repression. It's been some sort of lie. This person is not forthcoming with communication or if she, if she does communicate, it's not nice communication. She's not very nice, okay? Um, and it feels like this person is just like, you know, there's got to be something better than this. And they see this bright opportunity. This is a bright opportunity. It's like they see this light. They see this, I mean, that's like a, a, a shining light. To break free. This is like an opportunity here for renewal. of sorts the end the end of suffering I mean that's that's what that is it's the end it's the end of suffering somebody is making a decision to end a very painful situation that has consumed them and it's like they they, they collapse they reach the point of collapse and this is this is this is heaven sent the star so this is, this is, it's like heaven or somebody that has passed away or somebody from above or whatever 
it's the guiding light. It's, it's guiding somebody to protect themselves because this is a card of protection. End the suffering. End the pain. So there's a painful, there's a painful end here. It is painful. This is like moving out or leaving the home, leaving the family. That's the end of the. This is like the end of a family dynamic. Somebody who chooses another option. Somebody is choosing another option. What they thought looked good, it looked good, didn't prove to be emotionally fulfilling. Two of Wands reverse. Somebody has been restricting themselves. Fear of change, indecisiveness. But I think this is a sudden decision. Somebody, it is sudden. Somebody is making a sudden decision. And it's like it almost happens overnight. You could wake up to this change. Hear about this change. Somebody makes a sudden decision to just go. To end something that has been hurting them. Hermit, they see the light. Somebody is coming out of coming out of the darkness. They're seeing the light. So, yeah, I mean that's what we got. I feel like we have somebody here that has been going through some sort of midlife crisis. They made a poor decision, and now they're they're choosing to allow this realignment and go after. A bigger brighter opportunity that they see they 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 may be you know wanting to heal a relationship with this bitter individual who you know is resentful they may want to be healed maybe they want to go heal that with this person who has been resentful she she needs healing she does need healing so um, it's almost like this person with the big ego over here threw a relationship away, got themselves involved in a false sense of security, and now they want to heal it. So yeah, I mean, that's what I got. I, I, I really don't think I need to go any further. Somebody is making, and this is a sudden decision, Somebody is making a sudden decision to end something that, you know, they chose based on ego, based on looks, based on pride. They're choosing to end it so that they can heal and have their true wish fulfillment. They may have this newfound gratitude for this person that... This other person that is involved. There's another person involved here that is very upset. Anyway, I don't know who this reading is for. Good luck. I'm going to do another one.